Did you know that earthworms aren't native to North America? And doesn't that make you wonder what impact they're having? I'm Dan Riskin. When people think of introduced species in North America, they often think of pythons in the Everglades or wild boars in Saskatchewan. And fair enough, those animals are having massive impacts. But the lowly earthworm is introduced too. Thanks to the last ice age, earthworms were absent from large parts of North America for at least 12,000 years. But the Europeans brought earthworms over with them a few hundred years ago to help aerate the soils of their gardens. So now they're almost everywhere, except the far north and some mountains where the soil is just too frozen for them to invade. Now, most people think of earthworms as being good for the soil. And yes, they aerate the soil for your prized begonias, but in wild forests that have existed for thousands and thousands of years without earthworms, soil aeration isn't necessarily a good thing. Previous studies have shown that earthworms affect soil chemistry and influence what kinds of other plants, animals, and fungi live underground. But until now, no one knew whether their influence extended above ground. Well, a new study set out to answer that question. Researchers from Germany and Canada looked at a mountainside in Kananaskis between Calgary and Banff, where they could find soils with low, medium, and high numbers of earthworms below ground. For locations with lots of earthworms underground, the number of insects, spiders, and other arthropods above ground was lower than in places with very few earthworms. And not just a little bit. Earthworms caused numbers of creatures above ground to be 61% lower. And the diversity of those critters was 18% lower. This study shows very clearly that earthworms, like snakes and pigs, have a significant impact on native species in North America. And it hints at a massive change that must have happened in the past few centuries as earthworms have colonized the continent. For ctvnews.ca, I'm Dan Riskin.